When we're young, many of us are taught that being different isn't a good thing. So many of us try very hard to fit in and be like everyone else to keep from being made fun of. But what if being different meant you had a special talent that no one else had? Well, that's certainly the case with this next group of performers. They're all living proof that it's okay to be different. When Corky Siebert was born, doctors told his parents they should just leave him at the hospital until he died. Doctors uh, were expecting twins and the family were so excited and they had uh, went out and bought two of everything as you would do. When Corky was born, he weighed only two pounds, nine ounces, and he was born without eyes. His twin brother, Rocky, didn't make it. Doctors told Corky's parents that he would struggle to live, and if he did live, he would never do anything by himself. Luckily, his parents didn't listen. Well, just a little over a year, he's walking and running. When Corky turned three years old, he sat down at the piano and just began playing. Since he'd never had a lesson in his life, his mother was amazed. Piano. Um, she said, Corky, do you know this song? He started playing it, and she thought that was incredible, but then he started singing it. How does a three-year-old learn all that? Well, it's because his gift is a gift to learn music hear music once and never forget it. He also has that extra gift that he can learn music and add to it. For the past 27 years, Marty has been Corky's mentor, his friend, his closest companion. When I was 18, I started in this business and it was to find people like Corky who could make a difference in their own lives and other people's lives. He has gifts we can't explain. When the audience claps, he goes through the same thrill of any performer in the world. He is normal when he's playing at the piano. I just like to perform. I just like to have fun like it was my very first time out there, my very first time. When I'm my very first times out there like it was yesterday when I performed. Over the years, Corky has taught himself to play nine different instruments. Any instrument they gave him, he learned how to play immediately. Uh, he knows nine different instruments, plays the organ, the accordion, the auto harp, the harmonica, anything with keys he plays unbelievable. And he drums, anything. It's just, it's incredible gift. Last year he performed in over 180 shows, sharing his special gift with more than 75,000 people. He does it mostly for free, simply because it's God's gift and he knows if he doesn't share it, then he's cheating himself and cheating others. I'll be rewarded when I die and go to heaven. I'll be rewarded for that. That's the best pay that you can probably get. And I like to give. I like to give. Give stuff to people that, that are in need. Experts believe Corky knows at least 10,000 different songs, and he knows them all by heart. His music tastes cover just about every genre. Well, I got a some of our favorites I rock and roll all night party every day and then I got Beth and I got shout it out loud and I, and I got are you ready just some of the favorite tunes and I'm working I got a new one out called Sail sailors are playing rock and roll by Blue Oyster Cult I, oh, got, I love that one <laughs> yeah I know I know that one don't feel the reaper yeah. Well, that's oh, another that's one. Too. Yeah, I, they they play that on the Fox. Yeah. I did. Oh, that's seven different. But I also play classical music, and I play Moonlight Sonata. That's another one. And I, uh, Fairy Lease. Sometimes I have to listen to uh, listen to it over and over and uh, until I get the words right. Corky uh, is sixty years old, and uh, he looks like he's about thirty, and acts like he's about fifteen because he has so much energy. But I haven't been skateboarding in a while, so if you ever see me skateboarding, you just better be careful when you, because if you're not, you might get just ran over. Not only does he have this amazing talent, Corky lives in his own apartment and loves doing his own laundry. He even has a job working at Envision. I do gunslings, I do uh, green gunslings. That's the no, most important job. I've been there almost 11 years. Wow. I do enjoy it. Uh, oh man, I enjoy that. I think that's for the police officer. And what I do, I put the, a hook on there and I put a slide on there. 
He lived with his mother for 50 years, and then one day he called and said he wanted to move to Wichita, get a job. He'd never had a job before and live in an apartment by himself. Well, the idea of that for a normal person is scary. For someone who's totally blind is unbelievable. Not bad for a child, Dr. Sid would never do anything on his own. As people have told him earlier in life, he couldn't do them. And he knew he could do them, and so he's just showing people. Uh, it's so important to have dreams, and he still dreams today. But then again, no, or bad. The biggest lesson I learned from him is have I done the most with my abilities? It's just that gift that God gave him that we don't understand. It's the best I can do. My gift.